Hello and welcome to another accounting tutorial. Within this video we'll be looking at tax points. The aim of this session is for you to understand what a basic tax point is and what an actual tax point is. Firstly, what is a tax point? Well, a tax point is the date on which VAT becomes due on a transaction. The VAT on that transaction must then be included within the relevant VAT return for which that date falls. Now we've established what a tax point is, let's examine what a basic tax point is and what an actual tax point is. A basic tax point is created when the goods or services have been made available to the customer. The actual tax point is created when an invoice is issued or payment is made by the customer. Now the business will only have one tax point for each transaction. This will either be the basic tax point or the actual tax point. The question is then, which one do we choose? The order in which the tax points are recognised is showing on screen now. So we can see that if the payment is made or an invoice created prior to when the goods or services were made available, then this would be your tax point. If both payment is made and invoice issued before the goods were made available, then the earliest of the payment date and the invoice date would be used as the tax point. Let's now say that the goods or services were made available before payment was made or the invoice was issued. The date that the goods or services were made available would be your tax point. However, if the invoice is issued or payment is made within 14 days of the goods or services being made available, then this would become your tax point. If this were to happen after the 14 days, then the date that the goods or services were made available, i.e. the basic tax point, would remain as is. Let's have a look at a couple of examples to put this into practice. Trexler Limited received an order for goods from a customer on the 14th of September. The goods were dispatched on the 18th of September and the customer paid on the 15th of October when they received their invoice dated on the 13th of October. What would the tax point be? Well, they've received the order on the 14th of September this can be ignored as receiving an order does not in itself create a tax point. The goods were made available to the customer on the 18th of September. This would be your basic tax point. The next check is to make sure the invoice or payment wasn't made within 14 days of this date. In this scenario, neither the invoice being issued or payment were made within 14 days, and therefore the basic tax point would remain as the tax point for this transaction on the 18th of September. Let's now look at a second example. Brexton Limited had goods delivered on the 17th of May. The payment was made on the 1st of May and the invoice was issued on the 20th of May. What would the tax point be for this transaction? In this scenario, the basic tax point would have been the 17th of May, as that's when the goods were made available to Brexton. However, because payment was made on the 1st of May, which is before the basic tax point, this would have created an actual tax point. This would therefore be the tax point for this transaction. And that sums up this video on basic and actual tax points. Please don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and to subscribe for more AAT content. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.